Thank you so much for watching this online video tutorial. Please like, comment and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Good Better Best Online Videos for more content. So now moving on, what we'll be looking at is special angles. Um, and the way we access these special angles is by using our two special triangles. So what you're going to have to do is memorize these triangles so that you're able to use them in your test. Because usually when you get to these questions, they ask you to work out this angle this angle without the use of a triangle right and so that's why you need to or sorry without the use of a calculator and so that's when you have to use these triangles to help you and so the first triangle pretty simple what you have to remember is you have obviously both of them are nine uh, right angle triangles and so what we have is 45 degrees over here and so obviously this is 45 degrees and this is 90 this is also 45 degrees over here so that's one of the angles right and then what's going to happen is we have one over here one over here and then root two cool then if you look at the other triangle on this side it's going to be an angle here of 60 degrees right and obviously if this is 90 degrees over here then this is going to be 30 degrees up here and then we also have a one over here over this side we have a root three and of here we have a 2. So really just take a minute to look at this, try and memorize it. But for these examples, we will be looking at these triangles to help us, okay? And so just to show you guys how we go about using these triangles, I'll do some examples for you just on the right hand side before we look at some uh, more advanced examples, you could say. So let's say they asked us to find tan 45 degrees without the use of a calculator. Because that would be pretty easy to find your calculator, right? So, let's have a look at how we can use this on our calculator, um, without the calculator. So, we can see they give us 45 degrees. And if you notice, we've got three different types of angles we're dealing with. We're dealing with 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. So, when they say 10, or when they just say the 45 degrees, you know you're going to deal with the triangle on the left-hand side, right? And so you could use any one of these angles and your answer would still come out to the same thing. So let's say I'm going to use the bottom one over here. So this bottom 45 degrees over here. And it says tan 45 degrees, right? So what I have to do is think about the tan ratio. The tan ratio, uh, if we look at it again, so toa, we know that with tan we use the opposite and adjacent side, right? And so if I look at what is the what is opposite this angle and adjacent to it. Opposite is 1 and adjacent to it is 1. Okay, and so like that, that's how we get our answer because we know tan 45, so this would be opposite over adjacent. And so the 45 degree just tells us which angle we're supposed to be using. And so it's the 1 over the 1 that we said, okay, because that's opposite and that's adjacent. So the next example is cos 60 degrees, right? And so now we have to look at the 60 degree angle in this triangle. Cool. So you can see now we know we're using triangle on the right hand side because of the 60 degrees. So if we look at cos, we know cos uses adjacent and hypotenuse. So in this case, the adjacent angle is 1. Um, the adjacent side is equal to 1 and the hypotenuse is equal to 2. So we know it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So that is 1 over 2 as the answer for cos 60 degrees. So you can see all it really is, is using that angle to say, okay, we're using this angle um, or this triangle. And then relative to that angle, using the ratio, I have to decide, okay, that is the two sides that I'm using. And this is how I put them together. Cool. And so for the last example here, we have sine 30 degrees. So remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So if we go to the 30 degree angle, which is obviously in the triangle on the right hand side. Opposite is 1 and the hypotenuse is 2. Cool. And so then this is obviously going to be equal to 1 over 2. So as you can see, we use a 30 degree angle. We looked at the opposite side, which was equal to 1 and the adjacent side, which is equal to 2. It's pretty simple once you get to understanding it, right? 
So let's look at some more advanced examples quickly. So we already know that cos 60 using special triangles equals a half. So let's say in this case, so that let's say that's number one. Let's say number two, they ask us to find four cos 60 degrees. So how do we translate that? Well, that four in front basically just applies to timesing. So what happens is we say four times cos 60. Cool. And so what we need to do is find the answer for cos 60, which we obviously know is a half. And so basically it's four times a half, which equals two. Cool. Makes sense. But what happens if they ask us to find cos squared 60 degrees? And so basically all we have to do with that is it's going to be cos 60 degrees in brackets and that's squared. So the answer for cos 60 degrees and then we square it. So we know that the answer is a half. And so what we have to do is square that answer and we get 1 over 4 as our final answer there. And then just to look at one more example over here, or let's look at two more. So for example number four, we have tan 45 degrees with a dot over there. Remember, that's going to mean times, times cot 45 degrees. Cool. So what happens is we have to find out what tan 45 is equal to and then what is cot 45 equal to times them together and then get an answer. So we know that tan 45 from up here was 1 over 1. So we know that's going to be equal to 1. And cot 45 is basically 1 over tan 45. Cool. So that's basically just the inverse of 1 over 1. And so that's obviously going to still give us 1. And then our final answer is going to equal to 1. Then to look at one more example. We have sine squared 60 degrees plus cos squared 60 degrees all over tan squared 45 degrees. So let's just use a different color here so we don't get confused when we go to our triangles over here. So we're going to find out obviously Firstly, let's just change this over here. It's going to be sine. Remember what I said what happens when it when there is a square. So it's sine 60 going to be squared once we find that answer. Plus cos 60. I'm going to run out of space here. Let's just actually do it down here. So sine 60 squared plus cos 60 degrees squared over tan 45 squared degrees squared sorry okay so let's go ahead and find out what these different things equal so obviously tan 45 we know is going to equal to 1 so what happens is we don't even have to take that into account anymore tan 45 we know equals to 1 so that's going to fall away right because it's at the bottom of the fraction. Now looking at sine 60 though, let's look at sine 60. So 60 degrees, we come to the right hand side triangle, we're using the 60 degrees over here. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, okay? So opposite angle over here, or opposite side over here is root 3. So that's root 3 over, so it's opposite over hypotenuse, hypotenuse is 2. And that's going to be squared, right? And that's going to be added to what is cos 60. So cos, so we still come to this triangle and 60. And then we look at cos obviously is adjacent and hypotenuse. So adjacent, which is 1, and hypotenuse, which is 2. So that's 1 over 2 squared. If we times those out, so obviously root 3 squared is going to give me 3 alone. And then the 2 is going to give me 4 once it's squared, plus 1 over 2 squared is 4. And so once we add those, obviously denominators are the same, so this is a flat addition, which will make it 4 over 4, which is equal to 1. And just like that, you applied special triangles. 
So just remember that whenever they give you anything, so let's break it down, they give you cross 60. Okay, 60 degrees is going to tell me which triangle I'm using. I'm going to be using the one on the right hand side and I'm referring to the 60 degree angle. And so they give me cos to use, right? And I know that's adjacent over hypotenuse. So I have to look for the adjacent side, which is the 1, over the hypotenuse, which is 2. Remember, your special triangles will never change. So you just have to memorize these and then you can always refer back to them when you're dealing with angles of 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. Hopefully you guys understand special triangles now.